And why is Libby gone? And what can we do to help other dogs in the future? Well, our dog Libby, let's back up. We were definitely paying clients at Christina Robinson's Precious Paws Daycare. And our dog Libby, a four-year-old German short hair pointer, was mauled and killed by Christina Robinson's own pack of pit bulls. There was a pit bull involved, a German shepherd, and a bulldog, and three or four other dogs that were familiar with her property, and they were all left alone for 45 minutes on December 29, 2016. Okay? And worse yet, we have private emails to her clients where she has admitted prior injury for making the same choice. Okay? It resulting in injury then, not in death. So, that's a fact. Uh, it's also a fact that Precious Paws has only one valid business license and Edmunds. They may not illegally use that license to usher dogs to an illegal kennel at their private home in Mount Lake Terrace. But this is what they have done for several years now. We have neighbors who are going to provide more evidence of that in addition to our documented evidence since we've been uh, using her service for a year now since an unfortunate referral uh, from what was the Assembly of Dog. They're a responsible outfit and they feel horrible that this has happened. Next. There is no zoning for this non-conforming use in Mount Lake Terrace, okay? Uh, there should be signage on the property. There should have been an emergency abatement done years ago, but it was not done and still has not been done to this day, even after Libby was mauled and killed at that residence. We have our theories about why that might be. There is a city councilor who has admitted having ties to that house, and it took them maybe six weeks to come forward and give a statement about that after I had questioned it. Okay. Uh, Ms. Robinson has engaged in other reckless conduct throughout the years, and she lied in 2014, telling Edmond City Council that the dogs were supervised 24-7 and never left unattended. We know that to be a complete lie. Now, I don't know why Edmonds, or rather, why Mount Lake Terrace has not assessed a, a, a substantial penalty. $250,000 could have been assessed because she's been running this illegal operation now. There are fines accruing every day, and they won't do anything. Uh, Christina Robinson also lied on the 4th of June, 2017, telling City Council in Mount Lake Terrace, she's never had so much as one bite in four years. When in point of fact, there was a bloody fight at the Edmonds storefront in the summer of 2016, documented by her own employee, Bonnie Sands. And there was a 6 or $7 vet bill for another 25 stitches sustained by Lico, another female dog who uh, was severely injured in her care. Now, Mount Lake Terrace has taken no real action in this case. And uh, to make matters worse, animal control officer Elena McKee, who used to work in Edmonds, she actually told the Edmonds animal control officer to stand down because it was going to get very ugly and very messy for the city. That's a fact. I have the email. Uh, it, it just goes on and on. I don't know what to do here, so we're coming to you for help. Uh, furthermore, Christina Robinson told city council in uh, Mount Lake Terrace in 2014, I've worked for Central Bark, uh, the Academy of Canine Behavior, and Mount Lake Terrace Veterinary Clinic. We cannot verify her degree of employment in any of these facilities, okay? And she reneged on her promise of providing the information to our attorney, Adam Karp. We're at wit's end here, folks. It's just insane what is going on and, and the disrespect that's being uh, displayed toward our family and toward Libby. So at this point, uh, the information is before you, and please join us at Watchdog for Dog. And we're going to have a, a full website as well, but for now, sign this petition and join us at Watchdog for Dog and watch for further developments there and at my personal blog. Thank you. Elisa thanks you. Fang thanks you. Pepper thanks you. And I thank you. This is our new family, Elisa, Fang, Pepper, and me. We are truly blessed to be together, but the occasion of such blessing is the ugliest single experience of our adult lives. Livy was mauled to death and killed because Precious Paws owner, Christina Robinson, left our dogs alone in the company of her pack, including several pit bulls. Livy was a young American, full of life and love like no other dog I've ever met in my 51 years on this planet. Elisa would tell you the same thing. And we rescued her, and we gave her all the love we could, and she gave it back to us, and it showed. Livy loved us with complete abandon. Uh, we'll never forget how she would wake us up in the morning and pin us down to lick our faces while we laughed hysterically. Or how she would snuggle between us, fully extended like a human, with her head between ours on the pillow as we contemplated our next playtime or journey or mountain bike ride. And Olivia was happy and smiling every single day that she got to spend with us. And so were we. 
Now every time I wake up, it's the three second rule. I have three seconds before the gravity of losing Libby to a violent and needless death hits me and surrounds me much like a giant storm cloud for much of the day. 